how to add plugins to a 1.19.2 Minecraft server. Now we are assuming you've already got a paper server set up in this video. If not, go check out the link in the description down below on how to make a paper server. Paper is the best way and truthfully the only way these days that you should be adding plugins to your Minecraft server. And that video shows you exactly how to create your own paper server. Once you've got that, you can come back here and see how to add those plugins and get them installed. First things first though, I do wanna mention that if you wanna start a server in the easiest way possible, go check out Apex Minecraft Hosting. They're the sponsor of this video and the first link in the description down below. At Apex, you'll be able to start a paper server in under five minutes and on top of all of that, add plugins with just a few clicks. We actually love and trust Apex so much to be host all of our Minecraft servers, public and private, on Apex Minecraft Hosting. There is no other place to look for a Minecraft server than Apex, so go check them out. The first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, once you've got your paper server set up, whether it's through Apex or whether it's on your own using our tutorial here, come back, let's download some plugins. Now, in the description, the second link in the description down below, we have this. This is our in-depth look at 15 plugins for Minecraft. Most of these are geared towards general servers, not for example, a survival server, a faction server, a skyblock server. The goal is that these will work on most servers, right? So nevertheless, we're gonna go ahead and download Essentials X. We'll also grab World Edit because why not? It's pretty good. And then we'll grab Player Vault as well. If I can scroll down here all the way to the, or excuse me, Player Warps right here. We'll grab that one in and Core Protect. We're just going, we're going crazy. Downloading all these today. I believe that is four plugins we'll be installing. We're also going to need to be able to install Vault. Vault's a requirement, right? Oh, excuse me, Vault. Vault's a requirement for most Minecraft uh, plugins, including a few of the ones we're installing today. So this is in the description as well. Nevertheless, most plugins are going to be hosted here. This is Spigot MC. Spigot is basically the software that Paper is based on. And this is where you can download most plugins. As you can see, this is 1.19 compatible. There's the version. And if that's the case, you can just click download. And a lot of plugins will start downloading. Essentials is the exception. It takes you off to their own website where you can download the different modules of, extent, of essentials that you want. We want the core plugin. We also want chat and spawn. Those are, as you can see, kind of the most popular there. And Truthfully, they're the best ones that you should probably get. It's also worth looking at the other ones, but these three are kind of a must have. We're also gonna be able to download World Edit, which is hosted on another website. This is another common place where you will find Minecraft plugins. Bucket is the name of the website. 100% safe usually to download here, but let's go to file. And once we're here, we can see all the different versions, specifically World Edit 1.19.2 up here at the top. Click the download file button and it will download. You may need to keep or save these files. And as long as you're downloading them from trusted sources through our links specifically, it is safe to download them. Be careful just Googling a plugin and downloading it from a random website. Places like Bucket and Spigot are usually safer. However, I would only recommend downloading through our videos or trusted sources. Nevertheless, Player Warps, this is hosted on Spigot, as you can see. Click the download button and the download will begin. Core Protect, this is a really cool plugin, allows you to prevent grief, all sorts of stuff. This is actually our in-depth guide on it. Scroll down, click on the yellow download button, takes your Core Protect's download page here, where again, just click the download button. Now we've got all of these downloaded. We also wanna go ahead and grab a Vault right like so, boom. Vault's an exception, by the way. This says it's not for 1.19, but it will work fully on 1.19. It's a very simple protocol plugin, doesn't really interact with the version of Minecraft per se. So because of that, even though it's outdated, it still does work and like I said, is needed for a few of these plugins, Player Warps and Essentials X specifically need Vault. Last thing I'll mention here is you might need a text editor. Atom is the text editor that we use. We'll use it later. This allows you to edit the config files of plugins once you have them installed. That can be a great way to customize your server. Atom is great. Use whatever you want. Virtual Studio Code is great as well for Windows. It doesn't matter what you use. We use Atom because it's lightweight and it's kind of all you'll need for Minecraft, but there are other text editors. Use them. It doesn't matter. Notepad++ is another great one. And lastly, this in the description is a link to our complete guide on over 38 Minecraft plugins. Yeah, you heard that right. Over 38 plugins. Essentials X, Tib X, Grief Prevention, Holographic Displays, Core Protect, as well as things like Time is Money, a little more specific plugins. There's our Player Warps Guide, World Edit Guide. I mean, it is so much stuff here. How to Prevent DDoS Attacks. All that's covered in this list and it's, it's worth checking out. It's a it's super in-depth video. But nonetheless, once you have gone through all that, you've kind of looked at all the links in the description, you download the plugins you want. How do you add these plugins to your Minecraft server? Well, we've already got the server set up here. Let's move these plugins to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder and in here you have all of our plugins. We're installing a ton today, which is awesome. So as you can see, we have the essentials here. We also have the other essentials there. Vault. 
Core Protect, Player Warps, and World Edit. To install these, open up your server folder here, and then in here you should have a plugins folder. If you don't have a plugins folder, you don't have a paper server. So go create a paper server, come back, you'll get this plugins folder, open it up, and then drag and drop all the plugins you want to install into this plugins folder. Now we go ahead and double click on our run.bat file. The server will start up, the plugins will activate. Before you even join in game, by the way, you can see your plugins, right? How do you do that? Well, once the server is started, just come in here and type in plugins. Right like so, and there you go. If a plugin is green, it is active. If the plugin is yellow, it's active, but having some issues. And if a plugin is red, well, it's not active at all. As you can see, all seven of the ones we installed are active. If we join in game, we'll be able to use them. So here we are, Minecraft is open. We can go into multiplayer, and then we can proceed if you need to. And then we can direct connect right into our server. Doesn't matter how you join your server, right? You're just joining your server. Once you're in game, if you're opt, you should be able to use most of your plugins out of the gate. All of these plugins have permissions. We recommend Luck Perms as a permissions plugin. That allows you to set up ranks and decide like default players are gonna have one thing, mods and staffs are gonna have another, right? But nevertheless, come over here and once we're over here, we can very easily add in op. So we're gonna go op and then our username. I'm already opting the server, nothing's gonna change, but if you're not, you will op yourself. Once you're opting game, we can do things like slash set spawn, right? That's gonna be an essentials command. And now we can do slash spawn to go back there. We can also set things like uh, player warps, like um, we'll do uh, set warp here, or set player warp slash p warp set, right like so. And then we'll do polar bears. Now, if we do, oh, I don't have the $500. We can do that using essentials as well. So we can eco give ourselves, and then we'll just give ourselves a ton of money, boom. And then now we can set that player warp, boom. Now if we go ahead and do slash PW polar bears. It's gonna take us to that player warp. We can also open up the P warp menu, Right, like so, and we'll be able to see all the different warps, including that polar bears, which we can click and go to, right? So cool stuff here, you're starting to see all these plugins. We do have a world edit as well, so we can get a world edit wand, and we can do things like set this ice to gold. So let's go ahead and do slash slash replace ice gold block, boom, there we go. You can copy and paste world edit, super, super powerful. And then we also have core protect here. So we've placed down all of these blocks, which my FOV is a little messed up there. We placed down all these blocks, right? We don't want these here, so we do COI. Who placed these? Well, I did. But if we want to undo them, we can do slash CO rollback, and then we'll do user me, and then a radius of, we'll do uh, 20 here. It's way less than that. And then we'll do the time of 10 minutes. Bam, there you go. We did everything and even undid our world edit, which is pretty cool. So there you have it. That is how you can kind of use some of those plugins. But why do you customize them? Well, if we go ahead, disconnect from Minecraft here, quit out of the game completely. We can stop our server. You don't have to stop your server. You can reload a lot of plugins in game with like slash plugin name reload, like slash P warp reload will work in game, but it still is safer to have it stopped. And then we can come in here to plugins. We now have all these folders for all of our different plugins, core protect essentials, player warps, and world edit. We go into Player Wars, for example, go into Config. We're gonna open this up with Atom, that text editor we mentioned earlier, but again, you can use any text editor you want. It doesn't really matter. Now, one thing I didn't like is it made me pay to set a Player Warp. I don't want that. I don't have to pay to set a Player Warp. So if we scroll down through here, we'll be able to find where that is in the Config, right? So there it is, Economy, Set Price, Zero. If we want to disable that, we can set it to negative one. By doing that, it's not gonna cost anything to set a Player Warp, pretty cool. You can also customize that by rank and all sorts of stuff. There's tons of stuff you can customize in here, but that's just an easy change that you can make. Go ahead and file save any of these once you are complete and then we can go into something else. Like we go into essentials. This also has a ton of different config files in its config.yml here. I mean you can just see there's tons of stuff that can be customized in here. Even like the currency symbol can be customized. So tons of stuff that you can check out. Amazing customization can be done with plugins. Something else that you can also do a lot of times is customize a language file or a lang.yml, right? So some of these right here. And this will allow you to change some of the different wording. Let's say you didn't want this to be called server warp. You wanted to be changed something else. You can customize so much stuff in here. Let's say the prefix, right? You wanted to change the prefix of this. You can change that in here as well. So, so much stuff that you can do and worth changing, worth looking at to customize. There's the prefix. You can change this instead of pwarp. You just make it warps, right? So much stuff you can do. And uh, when you start the server back up, those changes will have taken effect. But nonetheless, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week, make awesome Minecraft videos, and we'll see you then. Peace.